partial diet cutting is a great way to get more out of your diets and today I want to show you one technique that you can use with alphabet dyes to make really cool cards. Hi everyone, it's Amanda here, welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago I made a video where I showed you a couple of partial die cutting techniques that you really liked. I will leave that video in the information box if you want to check it out. And since you asked for more, I wanted to show you another technique that you can use with alphabet dies. When I say alphabet dies, I mean those sets of dies that include all the letters in the alphabet. The one I'm going to use is a medium size, but you can use this technique with any size. Just make sure that your word is going to fit in the card. And what we are going to create is a sentiment made of stripes of letters. Basically you have a stripe and the letter is picking out of the stripe onto the next stripe of color. I don't know if I make any sense, I hope so. Anyway, let's see how to do it. In this picture you can see the card that I'm going to show you how to make today, but stay until the end because I'm also going to show you a Christmas version of the same card. Now about the supplies. I'm using an alphabet die also cardstock in different colors, a ruler and a pencil because that's really useful and also of course a die cutting machine. Once I have selected the letters that I need for my sentiment, which is going to be hello, I am going to arrange those dies on the cardstock to more or less know how much space I need between each uh, letter. Uh, now I'm not sure this is a necessary step, but I just it just made me feel better. And I'm also going to draw a line throughout all the cardstocks or all the pieces of cardstock, just to make sure that each letter is going to be straight. Uh, compared to the next one. Now I also added another piece of cardstock because I realized that if I didn't the last letter was going to go into white and I didn't, I didn't want that but that's also okay if you like it. Now it's time to start partial die cutting and as you can see I'm fixing the platform to the lower plate to make sure it doesn't move when we use the machine. I also recommend doing some kind of test before you start partial die cutting just to make sure where exactly your die is going to get cut. This is because those plates are not straight in the edge. They don't have a straight edge, they have a beveled edge. It is cut at a slant and the cutting is actually going to happen somewhere within that slant. So everything I leave inside the plate is going to get cut, everything outside won't get cut. But as you can see, we are working with a really slim margin here. We want to die cut the letter, but we also want to keep it attached to the cardstock. So sometimes, if you're not really, really precise, it can happen that you cut the whole letter. That's okay, it happens to me too, but this is why I'm recommending doing some kind of test first. And now the only thing left to do is to remove the excess cardstock. You can use a paper knife for that or you can also use your paper trimmer and a pair of scissors.
Here you can see an example of what I was talking about before. I almost die cut the whole letter, but fortunately I didn't and there is still a little piece there that is keeping the letter attached to the cardstock. However, I am really going to be careful with this one, just in case. Now that I have all the letters ready, it's time to glue them together. But the way that I'm doing it is going to leave me with six layers of cardstock, which is a bit of a problem when you want to trim it down. I won't be able to use my trimmer, so I will be using a paper knife, which is not really difficult, it's okay, but I wanted to let you know in case you want to do it differently. So if you don't want the final piece to be so thick, what you can do is trim down each piece of cardstock and then glue them in a way that they don't uh, overlap so much, so you don't get six layers. Uh, I hope I made myself clear here. <laughs> To finish up this card, I'm using some die cuts, a sentiment that says friend, some florals, and I will also be using sequins. All the supplies, you can find them in the video description, and I always leave a link to the visual supply list in the comments below. And here you have the Christmas version that I made with this same technique. Everything is the same, I used just different colors, different sentiment, and I'm going to be using snowflake dyes to finish up the card. So that's all for today, I hope you liked this technique and let me know in the comments below if you have ever tried it before. See you next time, bye!
Thank you so much for watching. Here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching. And also you can become a subscriber if you want. If you do so, and even if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a wonderful day and see you again soon. Bye.